Welcome to this video on base excess and we'll also talk about actual and standard bicarbonate. Let's dive right in. Okay, after tissue respiration, cellular respiration, our cells produce carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide diffuses into blood capillaries and then into red blood cells. And then we have this enzyme carbonic anhydrase which aids this reaction between carbon dioxide and water to form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid dissociates into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ions. These bicarbonate ions are then sent out into plasma, are exchanged for chloride ions. So chloride ions move into the red blood cells and bicarbonate ions move out of the red blood cells into plasma. And then we have this equation that is very important, pH equals to pKa plus log of bicarbonate on carbon dioxide concentrations respectively. And this equation is called the henderson hasselbalch equation. The henderson hasselbalch equation. And then we would use, instead of using the carbon dioxide concentration here, we will actually replace this with the partial pressure of carbon dioxide partial pressure of carbon dioxide in blood. I think this is easier to measure. And the S signifies the solubility. S is the solubility and then P, partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So having this basis already, I uh, would we'll move into talk, start talking about standard and actual bicarbonate. So actual bicarbonate is the bicarbonate concentration in blood, basically. It's just, it's the bicarbonate concentration in blood and it is not measured using a machine so it is actually calculated yes the actual bicarbonate is calculated using the henderson hasselbalch equation and we need to go back into that and we see here so from here we can if we we measure we can measure the ph of blood and measure the partial pressure of carbon dioxide using machines using we have instruments to do that then from here, we can measure, we can calculate the bicarbonate concentration. And that calculated bicarbonate concentration is called the actual bicarbonate. So here, sorry, it's not measured, it's calculated from pH and partial pressure of carbon dioxide. The next definition would be standard bicarbonate. The standard bicarbonate is the bicarbonate concentration gotten from partial pressure of carbon dioxide values corrected to 40 millimeters of mercury. Okay, the normal range for, or the normal value, the average value for carbon dioxide partial pressure in blood is 40 millimeters mercury. So we actually, to measure the standard bicarbonate, and you know, this value of partial pressure of carbon dioxide can fluctuate from time to time. So, to measure standard bicarbonate, we change, we take whatever the value of partial pressure of carbon dioxide in that person's blood we collected, it doesn't matter. To calculate the standard bicarbonate, we change the partial pressure of carbon dioxide to 40, and then we insert it into the henderson hasselbalch equation, and we solve. And the bicarbonate concentration we get from there is called the standard bicarbonate. So this standard bicarbonate actually is used to, we assume, since the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is regulated by the lungs. The lungs are the one, is the one that breathes out carbon dioxide. Yes, and your bicarbonate is basically regulated by the kidneys. The kidneys send out bicarbonate ions. The lungs send out carbon dioxide. Your kidneys send out bicarbonate. So we are using standard bicarbonate to measure, to assume that the lungs is functioning properly. So we are saying the lungs is functioning properly and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is normal. What is the bicarbonate concentration? Please take note of this, it's very important if you want to understand it next. And the normal range for bicarbonate, here we, this is the bicarbonate range in blood, is 22 to 26 millimole per liter and take note, this is arterial blood. Yes, we are talking about arterial blood here and not venous blood. Venous blood obviously is going to have a higher concentration of uh, of bicarbonate. 
yeah, so we are talking about venous um, arterial blood, pick your pardon. And for a normal healthy individual, the the actual bicarbonate should be equal to the standard bicarbonate. They should be equal. It means the difference between the actual and the standard bicarbonate should be zero. Okay. Okay. What is this clinic? What does this mean now in the clinic? How do we apply our knowledge of the standard and actual bicarbonate? We write our Henderson Hasselbach's equation, the modified version, to take into consideration the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. And from here, I think we can safely assume that our pH is directly proportional to the bicarbonate ion concentrations and inversely proportional to the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Yes, I think it's safe to do that, right? <laughs> okay, not directly proportional though, but at least it gives us a clue that an increase in bicarbonate increases the pH and a, de and a decrease in carbon dioxide partial pressure increases the pH. See a chronic respiratory acidosis. In respiratory acidosis, the lungs is not capable to expel enough carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide accumulates in blood. So we have a high carbon dioxide value, giving us a low pH. Okay, let's assume the pH of blood is somebody is suffering from respiratory acidosis. An assumption, he has a pH of... Uh, okay, by the way, normal pH of blood is around the range 7.35, 7.45. So let's say somebody is suffering from an acidosis and pH is 7.2, 7.20. So, respiratory acidosis, high carbon dioxide. To solve standard bicarbonate, we have to reduce the carbon dioxide to 40. Remember, standard bicarbonate equilibrate, we bring back our partial pressure of carbon dioxide to 40 in the metals of mercury. And then, what does that mean? It means if our carbon dioxide is at 40 now, for that person at pH 7.2, what is the bicarbonate? Obviously, if we are reducing this and to have that same pH of 7.2, it means the bicarbonate needs to go up okay i hope i can grab a pen here so if our carbon dioxide should go down to 40 it means our bicarbonate should go up right so we have an increased value of standard bicarbonate in standard bicarbonate in respiratory acidosis in metabolic alkalosis basically we have our kidneys that have a problem instead and we have high levels of bicarbonate so then we have just normal values of carbon dioxide so we already have an increase bicarbonate at equilibrated pressures so standard bicarbonate increased in metabolic alkalosis and respiratory acidosis and the next would be standard bicarbonate is just the inverse or the converse of what we just explained earlier standard bicarbonate decreases in metabolic acidosis and chronic respiratory alkalosis i'll leave you to do the <laughs> the thinking on this one i hope you <laughs> work out your memory try to work out your brain and think about it okay in respiratory acidosis we have already said we expect to have a low carbon di partial pressure of carbon dioxide a high sorry means our standard bicarbonate should be increased okay standard bicarbonate should be increased and what happens to the actual bicarbonate in respiratory acidosis it's actually normal okay it should be normal or slightly increased or slightly increased but in respiratory acidosis now we would expect now since our sb is increased so our standard bicarbonate minus actual bicarbonate is positive remember we said in the previous slides that standard bicarbonate and actual bicarbonate are should be equal for a healthy person so we ex so if we see a standard bicarbonate minus actual bicarbonate being positive then the person should be in respiratory acidosis okay <laughs> take note it's not the case in metabolic acidosis even though standard bicarbonate increases in metabolic acidosis alkalosis sorry but in metabolic alkalosis, the bicarbonate value 
the actual bicarbonate is high okay metabolic alkalosis is defined by increase in bicarbonate concentrations in blood so even though sb has increased but actual bicarbonate 2 is high so actually the tend to be equal or slightly or close to, to zero the difference tends to be close to zero so for respiratory acidosis we have an sb which is higher than the actual bicarbonate the converse happens for respiratory alkalosis respiratory alkalosis we have a low okay we have a low carbon dioxide and we have a conversely low bicarbonate low bicarbonate what does it mean sb is lower than actual bicarbonate so sb standard bicarbonate minus actual bicarbonate should be negative then we expect the person to be in respiratory alkalosis metabolic acidosis no even though sb is low but actual bicarbonate is also low so to recap respiratory acidosis sb minus ab positive respiratory alkalosis sb minus ab negative okay so this can help you to detect respiratory acidosis from respiratory alkalosis take note not metabolic problems but respiratory problems okay we'll move on to base excess base excess is the amount of acid or base added that is supposed to be added to a blood sample to achieve a ph of 7.4 okay so we assume our ba our our ph of is not 7.4 which is the normal ph of blood remember i gave the normal range is 7.35 7.45 so the average value is 7.4 so is the amount of base we need to add to blood sample to make it reach a ph of 7.4 and the normal range of base excess for a normal healthy individual should be between plus and minus two okay and uh, a base excess of greater than seven means that there is a problem okay if the base excess is positive it means you're in suffering from alkalosis or we are having an alkalemia and base excess of negative 2 less than negative 2 implies acidosis or acidemia in blood so thank you and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe